This is your sports TV station in Lorraine, WLCS TV 20. Here we are again, back at Lorraine for the finals in the Nationwide Classic Tournament. What seems like a commercial to you has actually been about 24 hours for us because we missed the whole day of wrestling so far and now we're at the finals. Lorraine has four wrestlers wrestling for a championship and numerous other wrestlers wrestling for third or fifth place. McGruff the Crime Dog here. We've all heard of identity theft. Now I'm going to show you how those thieves do it. Watch. He's photographing her credit card with his cell phone. To learn how to protect yourself from identity theft, go to weprevent.org. Keep your identity to yourself and help take a bite out of crime. Plant inspiration. Provide youth with the creative tools and skills to cultivate it. And you'll be amazed at what can grow. Adobe Youth Voices in the Peapod Foundation. Learn more at plantandinspire.org. It looks like <laughs> Looks like our first match of the night with Caleb Klob versus, Caleb versus the Clearview boy ended up in a forfeit for Caleb. Clearview never showed up for the match. Well, let's swing over our action. And on the main mat today, there's Shaw from Copley versus the Musio from Twinsburg. And while we're here, I'd like you to read the team scores. I have Beaver Local right now, after two days of wrestling, is leading 201 to Copley's 199.5. So actually, this is going to be a very, very close final with Bay, a very, very close third at 195.5 with the Lorraine Titans sitting in fourth place at 152.5. Now Lorraine does have a chance to uh, gain a lot of ground because they do have four wrestlers in the championships. It looks like Twinsburg, Twinsburg's um, Demusio down four to zero. Oh. But now 5-0. Oh. <coughs> Demusio is the wrestler <coughs> that sent uh, Caleb Kopp into the uh, Constellations early last night, first match. Nice shot by Demusio. He's just seconds away from getting his two for the takedown, and there it is. 5-2, 52 seconds to go in the second period. Now here's the action. Did you, it looks like the uh, the Copley wrestler is a, too good of a wrestler just to uh, turn. Demusio might have to kick him out and try to take him down again. Usually with the official down on his knees like that, looking that close, he's getting ready to tell the down wrestler that he's getting ready to call him for stalling. You no, know, you're kind of lame. You got to do something. You got to try to get to your feet. You got to try to uh, get some sort of action going.
Of course, Demuzio is seven seconds. Now he just has to hold on, make sure he doesn't give up an escape at the very end of the period. <laughs> Demuzio's choice, he took neutral. Thinking he got to take down the uh, second period, he could do it again in the third. A lot of hand fighting, a lot of good wrestling going out there. Shaw from Copley got him pretty deep. Demusio countered him very well. And Demusio going for two and back point. Not, he probably won't get the back points, but he still has a chance for a cradle in there. That takes the score to five to four. My guess is the coach is going to tell Demusio, kick him out and take him down again. Or wait for the stalling call, because it's coming. The referee's going to call it just a second here. There it is. Copley has been warned for stalling. One minute and five seconds to go on this match. I think Demuzio is asking this coach, can I kick him out? And I'm sure he just let him go uh, thinking to make the score six to four. He had two easy takedowns uh, going into this, uh, this uh, last 50 seconds. Thinks he can do it again to tie the score up. Shaw countered that one pretty nice. Official call to stalemate, 34 seconds. Nothing was going to happen. He just didn't want uh, Shaw to hold him down and not give him a chance for a takedown. Demusio got in deep. No takedown. He has to be on the map for a takedown. He gave him the two, and now he calls him out of bounds. Ties the score, 15 seconds to go. Again, Demusio asked his coach if he could let him go. I think the coach said no, ride him out for 15 seconds and we'll go into overtime. Seven seconds. Oh, probably if Demusio had three or four more seconds, he might've got a back point out of that. We're into overtime. Overtime on the varsity level is one minute, sudden death. Some people call it sudden victory. First person to score wins. He switched over a single into a double. Now he's holding on to his ankle. He won't get the takedown until he can get his leg free or wrap up the other leg. Now that will help. That will help. He coming around, he got his two. Now for team points, that gives Twinsburg the win plus advancement points. Twinsburg was sitting in fifth place with 144. They probably now at about 150. So they possibly could be closing in on Lorraine at 152 and a half, plus the points that Caleb got. Now, we're gonna be on the center mat again because wrestling for Lorraine is Brandon Bartlemé at 113 versus Dawson from Beaver Local. Now, Beaver Local, the team sitting in first, Brandon has a chance to keep them from advancing and put himself on the championship upper level. Here's the match.
Brandon got to this point in, uh, in the tournament. Oh, almost a takedown, but out of bounds. Brandon got here with two wins last night by fall. And then two wins today. A fall and an injury default in his last round. So Brandon's sitting here in four match that he wrestled, sitting with a, uh, a record of 4-0. Brandon got an inside control on him and went for the leg. And sprawled back, didn't quite get it. This time, it looks like Beaver Local was the aggressor as he went uh, and pushed Brandon out of bounds. So, referee is uh, keeping in mind, are both wrestlers working on their feet or does he think someone's stalling? But this looks like a match is going to be tight all the way. Bacalico with an underhook, Brandon with the elbow. Brandon takes a little shot. And Buckeye Buckeye local sprawled for the counter. This won't last too much longer before you get a little out of there. He broke his head out of there. Now he got the leg. He switched that single in the vanities. He got the takedown. Six seconds to go. And that sends us into the second period. Brandon with a beautiful takedown. Buckeye local gets the choice, defers. Brandon says, I'm going down because I think I can get out. <clears throat> Here we go with the start. To his feet and kicked out. So Brandon's leading this match 3-0. And, and, probably if he had done that in the middle of the mat, we'll be looking at a takedown with back points. Bacalico has become the uh, aggressor, being down 3-0. What Brandon has to do is make sure he doesn't uh, succumb and do something foolish. Stay in control and wrestle your match. Out of bounds. You see Brandon was out of bounds all the way with the Buckeye wrestler was still inside. As soon as his knee touched outside, both wrestlers are out, so out of bounds. As soon as Brandon pops his head out of there, You'll see he'll be a little bit above, and that's how he got the single leg last time. And he did it again, switched to a double, but took him out of bounds. Again, Brandon, beautiful single leg, switched to the double just the way you're coached. That's the first little shot you've seen uh, Buckeye taking. Brandon drives him out of bounds. You don't get any points for driving him out of bounds, but you get the referee thinking that a Brandon is the aggressor. And I see Buckeye got in uh, or had a little bit of a leg there for a second or two. Brandon on that single, coming around the behind, didn't quite make it. Now he is wrestling a pretty decent wrestler. That's what happens when you're in a championship. 21 seconds to go, second period. Brandon still leading, 3-0. Brandon ripping the hand off his neck. He didn't want to have his head in there. Right around five seconds, don't do anything foolish. Three, two, one, and time for this period. The official asked uh, Buckeye what his choice was, and he took down. Now the choice is how long is Brandon going to try to ride him out? 
before he kicks him. I think they're going to hit him with a caution. He started a little soon. I thought I heard another whistle, which sometimes is an excuse that uh, do start. The official wasn't on the same page as me. See, now we have to decide. That's twice he went out of bounds. Who's causing the out of bounds? Is it the down wrestler going towards the corner of the mat? Or is Brandon shoving and pushing? Taken underneath the underneath the pits, proper ankle and an arm. Ran around it tight. Just don't get too high, and keep him on the mat. Now the officials thinking now: Is he working hard on top or not? You got to break him down. And you got to do something. The trick is you don't want to ride his hips. He sits out trying to get some hand control. Brandon comes around behind him again. Still in control. Here's that little funky roll and out of bounds. Brandon followed that nice with 105 left in the match. Brandon still winning 3-0. to 0. Very quick start. See what you Brandon got to do is keep the Buckeye local wrestler from getting to his feet. And the way you do that is you hook that leg as long as you can until the referee's starting to think you're not doing anything with it. Then you've got to jump out to the side and look like you're getting perpendicular. Uh, arm, bar arm. Trying for a double bar arm. What you're going to do is don't do anything illegal. When you have a man's arm behind his back, you've got to be very careful. You don't get into a either a potentially dangerous or an illegal move. Now you see Bacaleco is crawling like he's crawling out of bounds, which he successfully did with 17 seconds to go. <clears throat> Here's where the coaches are saying, if you get into problems, you can give up one, don't give up two. Very quick start, Brandon goes for that back ankle and takes him off his hips. Once you have a wrestler off his hips onto the mat, it's hard for him to stand up. That's that little roll. I called it a funky roll before. He didn't quite get it, and that's the match. Brandon Bartome, Lorraine Titans, first champion of the tournament. Beautiful match. He controlled it from the beginning. Brandon, a sophomore, has a lot of wrestling in the head. Now we're going into 120. The Lorraine team does not have a wrestler at 120, but Clearview does, wrestling for third place. I think Clearview's over here on net number one. And I'm going to say Marcus Cruz from Clearview, wrestling Taylor from Midview. Cruz in the gray uniform, red on your color. Nice step over, take down to his back. I'm not sure he got any back points out of it. Official was starting counting it. He got his arm behind his back. Now he gave him the two. Crew steps over nice. And there's the period. Comes up green.
Midview defers, gives Cruz a choice. Cruz takes down. Cruz clearing that leg. You got to get his arm out of there. Which he did. Clearview has a leg in, what wrestlers refer to as having your boot in. But Cruz came out of that in control. Not quite, not quite. Actually, actually, Midview came out in control to his back, but out of bounds. He'll gather no points out of bounds like that. Looks like two evenly matched uh, wrestlers out there, the way they're rolling around. Both of them had a chance to uh, take advantage of this last move. Midview came out on top, but out of bounds. Cruz tries for a switch. He's out and clear. Fighting for a little bit of hand control underneath, which you can see. Midview's trying for a cradle. Cruz is trying to elongate so he can't get the cradle. Comes around. Clears. Got a one. Got the one. They're neutral. Midview had a chance to try to jump back on there for a takedown. Didn't quite make it. That puts Cruz in the lead, 5-0. to oh. Midview with a shot, Cruz with a counter. Cruz got a little headlock on him, backing him up, backing him up. With the officials down there checking very close to make sure there's not a choke going on. Actually, he won't get the takedown because they're both out of bounds. The official was waiting for him to get behind him, but to get behind him, he had to go out of bounds. So that was a little takedown. Water on your feet, but we got 20 seconds left to go in this mat in this second period. Clearview's trying to get behind. Cruz has his upper body, but he has to get behind him for the takedown. There it is. See how he stepped over that leg? Once he stepped over the leg, he got three points of control. He gets the takedown, and there's the bopper counting it down. Bop for the time. Third period coming. Cruz's choice, he takes neutral. With a 7-0 lead, Cruz got two options. Play it safe or go for a tech fall, which he got the two for the takedown. Goes down for the leg. So he wants to catch him on his back. You get two or three near fall points to really take this into a, uh, a major or tech fall situation. Rolls him to his shoulders, but Midby rolls out of it and comes in behind him for a nice little reversal. That takes the score to nine to two. With about a minute to go in this match. Cruz is trying some hand control. You gotta get rid of that hand, come around. Midview's trying to come around with him. Cruz rolls out of that and he stands up. When he stands up, he'll have the neutral. No, he got behind him for two for a reversal. If he would have stood up in front of him, he would have got the escape. But since he came behind him, Fisher gave him the reversal. On your feet. 47 seconds. Cruz leading 11 to 2. Give a caution. I think the caution was on the uh, Cruz for not having his hand deep enough into the navel. Thirty-eight seconds to go. I think Cruz got one turn left in him. Now he's at a major decision for that extra team point. He just doesn't want to give up a reversal to take the major away. 
and pushed him out of bounds. Now the official could give him the escape there, but he didn't because his head was still tucked up underneath Cruz. No escape, still had control, 17 seconds to go. The escape won't hurt the major decision. That will still leave it at an eight point differential. What he don't want to do is give him a reversal with 10 seconds. He's just holding on now, not worrying about back points. And here comes the countdown and there's the tap. Marcus Cruz, winner for third place, 120. Actually, uh, the way they do these tournaments is one weight class has to be completely finished until they start the next weight class. So what now we're looking is at the championship match where we have Pew from Copley wrestling Klima from Avon Lake. Pew is leading seven to four. 27 seconds left to go in this match. Copley's, Copley's sitting here in second place, hoping that they win this match, which might propel them into the lead of the tournament. Seven seconds left to go. Called a stalemate. Nothing was going to happen. Let them let do something for the last six seconds. Give Avon Lake Climbers a chance. Tried a little snap down that didn't work. Copley, the winner at the championship match at 120. Coming up to 126, there is no Lorraine wrestler at 126. Actually, there was no Lorraine wrestler entered into today's tournament at 126. So we're looking here at the championship match, again with Bay in the blue versus Buckeye Local in the white. Bay wrestler Zatelio versus Martzoff from Beaver Local. And here we go, ready to wrestle. Bay's down deep on a leg, but Buckeye Local counters out of that, just like you would expect two people wrestling in a championship match to do. There will be a lot of uh, head shucking here. Nice shot by Bay, came around for his two for the back. Bay got the bar arm in, throwing a half on the other side. So you got the half on one side, the bar on the other side. That is the turn and putting him on his back for back points. He got a couple coming and I got a couple more. I'm looking at the official. The official's looking at the shoulders and there's the pin. Pin at 109. That's a 51 second pin in the championship match. Bay is the winner. Zintello. That gives us time maybe to pay for one of the advertisements here. Hey, sports fans, high school wrestling is back. With the excitement Lorraine High Wrestling Club, there is always a match to watch. So turn your channel to WLCS TV 20 and watch them all. Win, lose, or draw. Our kids give their best. Lorraine Schools Employees Credit Union supports our schools, support the credit union. The credit union is located at 4459 Oberlin Avenue in Lorraine. We're ma the match we're watching here now. Yeah. There was the pin, too late to even call.
And here we are, 132 again. No Lorraine wrestler as at 132. No Lorraine wrestler was entered at 132. But on the championship match, we have Murnowski from Avon Lake in the green, wrestling bait from Jefferson Local. He'll be in the green. A difference. Learn more at casafamilyday.org. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're back again. What was just a few seconds for you was about 10 minutes for us. We have pin, pin, pin on the major mats and overtime in the consolations. Here we are again. The green wrestler in the the one on your right hand side now is Renoski from Avon Lake. He is wrestling Bates from Jefferson Local. Avon Lake is green, Jefferson Local red. You got their red stripes on the beginning at the front of their uh, uniform. Avon Lake with a few little feigns in there. Now they collar it up. I'm not sure Avon Lake likes that collar up. I think he would rather uh, uh, stay apart and go for the shot. And he muscled in, muscled in, but they went out of bounds. One toes in, the other toes out. You have to have both of your toes in before the takedown counts. Very close, but no cigar in this one. See what I meant about Dave on Lake? They like to stay back, stay back, stay back, and they come in hard. Always the aggressor. to head with two seconds to go and there's the tap. Avon likes choice, he defers. Jefferson elects to go down. That's a common choice to, uh, after you were deferred to, to take down thinking on the bottom, get an escape. Now we're back to our feet, but I'm leading by a score of one to nothing. We'll see if Avon Lake has different thoughts about that. Rocket Local comes hard on a switch. He's still not out. Avon Lake still had his leg, threw him out of bounds. But you can see his idea is to get out of bounds. No points out there. Jefferson is set. Here comes Avon Lake. Once you have a man's arm behind your back. Jefferson Loco has worked his way to his feet twice. And Avon Lake has had to take him out of bounds. The next strategy is don't let him get to his feet, so hold him onto the mat. Still have a minute 30 left to go in this match. First period. So right now in the referee's mind is that's three times they've been out of bounds and still they've only used 38 seconds and been out of bounds three times. Whose fault is it? 
Is it Jefferson going out of bounds or is it Avon Lake driving him out of bounds? That's the choice you got to make. And he's out this time. Successfully stayed in the middle of the mat, got his escape. Jefferson and Locos leading 1 0. Minute to go, first period. Close, 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 but not enough control. Not enough control to give, earn him a takedown. Avon Lake has the leg, but he's getting cranked on his head and he had to give up the leg. Too much pressure, but he's a tough boy. They're both out of going, working their way out of bounds. Jefferson Loco has worked his way back in. And now they're out. Nine seconds to go. With five seconds, no one's going to do anything foolish. You'll just stay apart and wait for the whistle. And there it is. Here comes the last period. Avon Lake Brzezowski took down. Brzezowski took down. And he's too, uh, Jefferson is too high. Actually, Avon Lake came out of that with a leg, but he still hasn't escaped. He's holding on for dear life on that leg. And call, waiting for the stalemate, which came at 1.38 left to go. <laughs> Jefferson got what the wrestlers like to call, got his boot in. Trying for a ride. Soski's trying to stretch it out. Keeping from getting split. Jefferson wrestler is trying to sit back with that leg. Brunowski is trying to get to his feet and waiting for the stalemate. Still one minute and 12 seconds left to go in the last period. Avon Lake is down zero to one. And Jefferson's a little high, a little high. He's trying to get his hips back, and which he did. He got to his feet. Yeah. It's hard wrestling a leg wrestler who knows what he's doing. He got the leg in, he's throwing that half, trying to crank him. The referee calls him for stalling, saying, you got to do something. Once you have a leg in, you got to do something with it. You got to take him back to the mat. You got to get him on his back. So now the strategy is get your escape to tie the match up or force another stalling call to tie the match up. And there's the chance for the escape. He still has a, a leg hook. Still has a leg hook. Muzowski's trying to get that out of there. He might get a stalling call again. Yeah. What he should not have done is backed all the way out of bounds. That gave the chance. That he, what he should have do, what he should have done is stayed in the middle of the mat to force the stalling call, force Jefferson to do something. If you go out of bounds, that gives him a chance to get a restart. Now he stands up. You got to stand up and work your way back into the middle. The legs back in. 15 seconds. Is he going to call? Hey, don't go out of bounds. Stay in bounds. You never get a call. You'll never get a call out of bounds. Now 
11 seconds to go. You got to do something to stand up and turn in quick. There's the stand up. There's the turn in. The Jefferson got that leg. Now, has he got enough for two? No, the fish is not going to give him two. Not until you can get on top of him. Not until you get on top of him. You see why? Great match. Great match. Two good wrestlers. But the match goes to Jefferson Local. One nothing. And that puts us at 138, where Lorraine has two wrestlers. They have George Colvin wrestling for third place. And Raquan Tipton wrestling for consolation third place. Now. George got to where he's at right now by last night winning two matches. He was 2-1 and one last night, losing only to Evan Francis from Kirkland. He only lost his first match today to Hansen from Beaver Local. Then he came back in the Constellations and won all the way out a hard-fought matches to come in for third place. So Cohen's only two losses were to Francis and Hansen and on the championship match is Hanson and Francis. So Colvin's problem is he's lost to the best two wrestlers in this tournament at his weight class. So he's out to prove, he's out to prove right now that he is the third best wrestler at 138. Yeah. Now, does Hanson have a takedown in him? There's a lot of hand fighting going out. There's a shot. He's wrestling. He's wrestling Spino from Independence. And I think there was a no takedown. Whistle before the takedown. That puts them back on their feet. Here's a sprawl. Can he push his head down and come around? That's what he's going to try to do. Bundle those arms up and keep his legs away. Keep his legs away. Yeah. The wrestler kept his toes in, but he first hit out of bounds with his knees without control yet. Therefore, he was out of bounds. And there's the period. One minute first period on the consolation mat. Choice to Colvin. He'll defer. Let Independence go down, trying for an escape. And there's a stand up. Colvin taken back. Still holding on to a leg. Get it up off the mat. Get it up off the mat and trip him. Then it depends the wrestlers and they go out of bounds. Colvin's still in control. This is going to be a challenge for him to keep him on the mat. Because if he gets to stand up again, he may have to decide to kick him out. here I got sitting here at the table with me a good friend of mine Mike Mose father of Lorraine Titans wrestler Mark and Matt Mose and you see some comments that you can see about uh, or L a lot COVID. of good wrestling going on here for the holiday tournament yeah, yeah. I was a little disappointed that I see more of the Lorraine wrestlers 
back in the cafeteria serving than they out here wrestling, but you ought to overcome these injuries. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll have that too when you get 18 teams in That's somewhere. Oh, yeah. A lot of competition and hard competition. I see Lorraine has upgraded their schedule a little bit to wrestling the St. Uh, St. Vincent's and going down to uh, uh, North Canton. I got an idea you'll see a little bit more of that. Yeah, that's good. You know, yeah. as, as they, they they get more uh, adapt to the competition that they're around. Yeah. And I, uh, I was telling your sons a couple of times, I've seen them today, you got to work for the end of the season. And then oh, wrestling, yeah. wrestling is a... Uh, Starts in February. Yeah, exactly. Middle of yeah, February. Yeah. So these are all learning experiences yeah. and getting used to your weight class. And We're talking about a team sport, but we're also talking about individuals when you get into, uh, when you get into February. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So I told them we're looking for big things. Time will tell. Well, it's a matter of time and getting yeah. a youth program in place. Yeah. And that, that's really important. And there's so many good athletes in this area that yeah. it's probably just a matter of time and getting the right athletes interested in the sport at a young age. And the right attitude with it. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. We're rooting for them. I We're all rooting for them. Yeah, we, yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking here. We missed a little bit. I think I got... Uh, Take down beginning of the, yeah, beginning of the third period. I got Colvin down six to three. Stands up. You got to turn in to get that escape. You don't get forced out of bounds. Stay in the middle. And there he goes with the escape. Makes it six to four. We're within a takedown of a tie. And drive him out of bounds. No takedowns out of bounds, stay in the middle of the mat. And I don't see much action. You gotta start forcing, you gotta force it, you got you need a takedown here to tie you, it up. You need a takedown to tie it up, but you gotta you can't wait till the last second because things like that don't always materialize. Yeah. Well, there's yeah. you gave up the takedown to uh, Independence, Spirno makes it eight to four. Now you need a reversal for back points. Might not be an easy thing to do. We got a minute to go. And here's a stand up. You got to clear your legs, get stand up. Spirno's riding tough. The official's probably thinking right about now is, is he going to do anything with that arm or is he just going to stall? With 28 seconds to go, time's running out for George. You got to get that leg to the mat. The leg that he has blocked. Out of bounds with 15 seconds to go. Over with a sit out, trying to make it tight. See, as he turns in, Independence goes straight for the legs, and I think he's going to be able to ride him out these last two or three seconds, and there's the bot for the match. I'll say one thing, Mike, the Lorraine people got a little treat when they get to see Harry Lester coming in here yeah. doing a little clinic. Isn't yeah. that special? Not often you see an Olympian down here on the Lorraine mats, is it? No. Yeah. Mark and Evan have been close for a long time, yeah. so it's... Kind of nice to see a guy like that come around from Colorado Springs. Yeah, to yeah. network with uh, with your buddies. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got a lot of stories on them, and most of them we can't tell. <laughs> Not on air anyway, <laughs> I know that. Uh, <laughs> All right, here we come into the 145. We're on a championship mat. We have Aaron Huff wrestling for Lorraine against Mr. Murdoch from Twinsburg. Now, Huff got to this, uh, this part of the tournament by last night going two and one. His only loss last night was to Murdoch from Twinsburg. Today he went two and oh, and now he has the rematch with Murdoch, which so often happens in tournaments like this. 
The two best kids in the tournament happened to be in the same pool last night. One of them had to win, but they worked their way back today to meet again for championship. Can Aaron get the revenge he needs? I think, again, we're waiting for one of the consolation matches to get finished before we start. That was uh, expecting when I came over here to see three or four or five other wrestlers on a championship mat. But when I got here, they were behind a concession stand, one with a cast on his elbow, one hole in his knee. Uh, yeah, it's been a little bit frustrating. The twins eating pizza. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not a good sign at a wrestling tournament. No. But February's. Yeah, yeah. Get healthy. Six weeks yeah. away get, before yeah. the second season starts, get and that's healthy. really what the whole goal is. And here we are, 145, Aaron Huff versus Murdoch from Twinsburg. Huff in the white uniform with the Titan on the back. Murdoch with the white uniform with the right and this is hopefully the way you try to get it to end up in a stalemate don't let the keep your leg don't don't form don't form don't form form uh, any official calls potentially dangerous get him out of that hole for the takedown for two. I don't remember this match last night, but let me look it up. Last night's decision was eight to six, so it was a very close match. We'll see what today's about brings. And out of bounds they go. In a match like this, who do you think has the advantage? The one who has won the first one or the I, one that's coming back? I think the one coming back. Okay. I think the one coming back. It's, he's got to come to his feet here, though, yeah. and not get controlled on top. But it's awful tough yeah. to beat a good guy twice, no matter who it is. Yeah, exactly same right, yeah. For a good guy to win yeah. twice. The thing it, is to clear your mind from last night and not worry about getting beat. Exactly, exactly. Huff got his escape. Makes it two to one. These guys will Look see each other in February, hopefully, yeah. too. So Probably. these are all learning yeah. experiences. And need Probably a better right. shot than yep. that. You don't want to get caught in that again. That's the second time. Yep. Walked into a carry. Yep. This kid's a fireman wrestler. Mm -hmm. See Dave Mariola. He's got to be 40 years in the <laughs> wrestling world. That was coaching when... Yeah. Mark was seven years old, you know. And he's still out there on the chair. I can see him yelling right now. Yeah, it's right below us. Yep, right below us. Dave had teams of Harry Lester, Tommy Rollins, NCAA, the Icabonis, Mark Jane, Mason Leonard. Those guys were all on the same team for him. Yeah. A lot of stories for that. So we're talking about experienced coaches. Eh? Great. Yeah, yeah. Great times. Yeah. So that puts a, that puts a score of four to one going into the second period. Got to do something to score points yep. here. Yeah, you got to get up. Now, Huff is a single to a double kind of kid. I watched him in some of his previous matches, so. Yeah, he brings a little bit of inexperience in the match being a ninth grader where he's wrestling a senior, mm -hmm. but you know, you got to overcome that when you're on a championship mat. He's at the weight that you'll get that too, yeah. in the middle weights. Yeah. Middle weights where there's some seniors sit, still hanging around there. But as a freshman, too, you have weight control issues, and, yeah. and, and two-day tournaments are tough, and it's not junior high anymore where you can muscle yeah. a kid in, in a situation like this. And there's escape. He ran around the mat and came right back. I mentioned he did like to go for that single, change it over to a double, but he got to stay away from that fireman. What are you going to stay away he's from? He's walking into it. Yeah. He'll get better every week, too, yeah. the more experience. And yeah. He told me this was the first uh, first match that he got down to 145. So he'd been wrestling 152 um, earlier in the season. Yeah, second day of making weight makes a big difference too yeah. with the kid. Mm -hmm. 
Which the more he does it, the more he'll get used, used to, to it. Yeah, yeah. 145 will become his weight. Mm -hmm. Gotta take better shots than that. That's that gives him two for Twinsburg. Makes it six to two and got some injury time coming. I think there was a little headbutt uh, as he went down. Nothing illegal, but a headbutt's a headbutt. It, it hurts. He's initiating the action, but he's just taking shots from a little the bit too far away. Too far away. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we went down to uh, Youngstown last year. Watch uh, Aaron Russell in the uh, OAC Junior High Championships. So he's an experienced junior high wrestler. Not gone built to, like not built like a freshman. He's gone the distance a couple of times. Yeah. He's not built like his uncles either. His uncles are all heavyweights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, stay off his back. He had to keep back. Mm -hmm. I think there was a one count in there, but he rolled back over out of danger, back to his belly, but he got to get up to his feet. Now he gave him two. Oh, he did give him two. Boy, I thought that was a quick one, didn't you? Absolutely, when it's our guy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Numbers always go a little I faster. thought you were quick a lot of times when I was our guy. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Been there, done that, I yeah. guess. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. yeah, one thing, you can't let a man ride you that no. hard. That, no. just, that just takes all the strength out of you. You might be seeing a little bit of the weight control thing yeah. going on here, too, the second day. But he'll get better every week. Yeah, you will. I'm sure he will. There's one thing about a freshman. you got a lot of way to go. Yeah. Now, when that arm starts creeping up a little bit too far, mm, yep. that's when you start getting into the, is it potentially dangerous or illegal? And I think they called it potentially dangerous with a second to go. Exactly. No, and I think, uh, no, I, no, I think they, oh, he kicked him out. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think there was well, some we confusion. We might see Mr. Mariello come unglued <laughs> yeah, on this yeah. one. You know, I think there was some confusion that he thought it was the end of the period, so that's why he ran back to his mark. Well, the official just assumed that's yeah. what he wanted. He wanted neutral, yeah. give him a point. That would have been a nice break. <laughs> Yeah, honest mistake. As I, as an official, I would just uh, I would let the kid. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. That was his best stand up uh, attempt uh, with one second to go. Here it comes last period. See what he's going to do. Go to his feet. He goes to his feet. Let's see who works for that single. You got to set that shot up a little bit better, I think. Yeah. But uh, he's coming. Athlete hasn't taken a shot yet. It's no, just been no. All counters. Counters. Yep. counters. He did a nice job with him. He's protecting his legs, but. Uh, he's getting that arm yeah. caught under there and get carried. Yeah. Today, Aaron was getting in on those legs like that. Uh, on his uh, earlier opponents. Now this is stuff that can all be worked out on tape yeah. too. Don't you think? It's definitely a big jump from junior high to high school. In yeah. the and yeah, nice. Nicely rolled over that. Yeah, eight to four. Now, is he going to feel confident on his feet to kick him out and try it again? Or is he going to try for his turn? You got to kick him. You got to kick him. You're, you're down by uh, four. See, I'm, I'm thinking right now, Twinsburg's not doing a whole lot. He got those elbows uh, clamped. Yep. Might be thinking about a little bit of stalling in my mind. Of course, I called, a little bit fa I called a little bit faster from up on the table than I do on the mat. I thought you, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot easier up here. Yeah. Tilt. He's trying a little tilt. Trying some offensive moves with 17 seconds to go. In Twinsburg, you can tell he's an experienced wrestler. He worked his way right to the edge where the next move takes you out of bounds. 
Very well coached Dave Mariola mm -hmm. wrestler. Mm -hmm. And I've just seen Mariola just tell him, go out, go out. Elongate it, don't, don't get turned. One of the greatest guys you'll ever meet. Yeah, and the and kid did exactly what he was told to do. Here's an old Lorraine High cross face, I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Aaron Huff, second in the tournament. Lost two matches in this tournament, and the only two matches he lost were to the same kid. You know, he can beat everyone else. There's one champ. That's the person you got to shoot for. One fifty-two. Lorraine does not have a wrestler in the match. We'll go down to see the championship match where we have Davison from Kirkland versus Powell from Copley. Here's a two and a run real quick. And two more for that cop leads. That takes him to three to two. And I don't know exactly what the team score is, but I'm sure this is going to get close. Maybe after half the matches, that takes it to 3-3 tied up. Each wrestler with a takedown and an escape. A lot of strength that moves out there. It looks like, yeah, he's in big trouble. Copley not only with the two, not only with the back points, but he's very close. Air Cup pin will be coming in a second. He's got a cradle in there. It's deep. See that head in the side. It's yeah. tough to pin him from that. Actually, Curtin got that arm out of there. He got to, there he goes. There he goes. He fought out of it, gave up three. That takes it to eight to three. You spend a lot of energy on your back fighting out of a cradle like that. These are some of my favorite weight classes, too, when you get up in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s. Still a lot of strength, but still a lot of, uh, a lot of moves, a lot of good athletes. Start getting in these weights. You have the football players that yeah. Yeah. They were, out of You know they were middle linebackers yeah. in there two months ago. 30 pounds, 20 pounds heavier. <laughs> yeah. Both on their feet, Curtin leading eight to four now after a kick out. Here comes the bear hug. Now can he trip him? Is Kirkland gonna be able to keep his hips back? Wrote the hug. Tried for a throw, got him on that high bridge. Maybe Lester was given a clinic. That looks like a little bit of a freestyle throw, didn't it? Yeah. I think Harry does a little bit different than that. <laughs> he was exciting. I was telling some of the other officials down there, I had him uh, when he was a freshman at his first sectional at Brooklyn, when CVCA was at Brooklyn Division Three, and then they moved on to EC for the districts. Had him a couple times. I said, I'd never seen a freshman that could do the things that he was doing that year. I'm a big believer in the power of we.
We can tackle the tough challenges we face and build community through service and volunteering. We gotta hold on to what we got. It's time for you to raise your hand. Go to serve.gov and get involved in something you believe in. How will you raise your hand when they call your name? Are you with me? We weren't born. All right, back on our feet. We got a minute and a few seconds left to go in this uh, second period. Copley leading 10 to 5 on their feet. These look like some hard nosed muscle wrestlers. Yeah, take down, no back points yet, no back points, still out of bounds. That's a signal, official signal that his shoulders were over the line, and out of bounds with 27 seconds to go, 12 to five. I think Copley uh, Two is, point take down, yeah, so it's 12 5. make it 12 5. I think he's looking yeah. like the superior wrestler is. He's better on his feet, that's for sure. He's currently going to be able to, uh, you know, do something this last period to at least make it respectable. Oh, he is up to, in his, good on his feet, isn't he? Yes, he is. 14-5. Well, he got some backs coming out of that, I hope. One more flurry like yes. that would be over. Yeah. Now he's working on his neck a little bit. I see the official staying in there close because you don't want him to get roughed up. No use uh, punishing him when you're leading 16 to five. He wants him on his feet, make it 16 to six. They'll need two more takedowns. Yeah, yeah. That's why he wanted him on his feet. There's one. He'll be coming here as soon as he clears that, uh, clears that uh, hand that's on his leg, which will be in a second here. He comes around, locks the ankle up for his two. He's got a cradle close to the cradle. I, I, just as I was saying, he's getting ready for that inside cradle, isn't he? Got the head there, head in the ribs. Isn't that the way his coach? Yes, it is. Exactly that way there. That should do it. That should be deep. That should be deep. That should be three for the tech. That's it. As we move into 160, after all these uh, 152 matches are complete, Lorraine has Lorraine has Tommy Delgado wrestling for third place on the constellation mat, and his opponent would be White from Westlake.
They do have a young team. Yeah, they do. See, today, Tom was one and one. We put him in for third place. And last night, he, he fell. He won his uh, third match uh, last night to give him a uh, three and three record for the tournament going in here. He has a little herky-jerky style. Let's see if that works into a takedown for him. He got in on the leg on his first shot. Couldn't do anything with it. Drove him off the map. It's the only way you score. Yep. Become the aggressor. Just don't do anything foolish and shoot from too far out. Here comes the second period. Delgado's choice. He defers. Westlake takes down. We'll see if Tom keeps him down. Sorry to see we got a uh, on deck wrestler kind of bouncing in our way here. seconds gone in this uh, period. Westlake leading with the uh, escape. And now a takedown. Close to out of bounds. Sure the fish is going to... It's a tough one to give up with yeah. five seconds left. Yeah. Now we still got a minute 12 yeah, up in this I'm period. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's a tough one to give up with a minute 12. <laughs> when you're down one, now you're down three, yeah. Well, the more the thrust into this competition, the better these kids are yeah, all going to yeah. get to. That's what we were talking a little bit last night. Uh, pool tournaments like this, you know, you get three or four matches last night, you get three or four matches today. Here's a kid that you might have been 0 and 2 in a in a bracket Absolutely. tournament, and uh, you know, sit home today. Yeah, these but are now good. Here wrestling. Gives the kids a lot of experience yeah. that yeah. they wouldn't get in a bigger tournament, holiday tournament like a Medina or something like that. And, you know, two years from now they'll probably be ready for something like that. Yeah, I'm that. sure they will be. I'm sure that was going to be the strategy. Um, well, Doug got it. Got his I'm escape. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, I heard that too. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it. Uh, I'm looking three one. We walked right into a takedown. You can't Soft, walk into a double leg in there, too. Sophomore mistake. Yep. Fight out of this. Yeah. Something to build from. Yeah, pin. Well, Jake's another one that's one of these young coaches coming on, Percival, and he's done a pretty good job over at Westlake. Yeah. We'll swing around and catch, catch Clearview's, um, Clearview's uh, Foster. Wrestling uh, Midview. Foster in the gray with the red coloring. No, he's green. Midview's red. Looks like Foster's leading two to one. 11 seconds to go in the second period. Two, one, here comes a tap, boom. Let's go into the third period. Foster leading two to one. Should be three to one here. 
Yep. Get out from. I'm looking like he's quick. Get out from bottom. Cleared the arm. Pretty good job with control there. Yeah, yeah that was all. You got to turn in. Yeah. Nice. Got the one for one, the escape, three, and that's off. I think he kept the uh, one leg out, uh, or it would have been two. You got to keep your toes in. Got Coach Stedman in the corner there. He's yeah. one of the Stedman brothers from East Lake. They yep. were yeah, they were tough, weren't they? Red-haired exactly. wrestlers from East Lake. They all looked alike. He's done a good job with Clearview. Yeah, he has. Brought them around. Brought the program around. Takes time. Takes brothers being involved and the little yeah. brothers coming and youth programs and none of that pays. So no. Very few people have that. No. And the ones that do, they're special for those coaches to put in that kind of time. Yeah. I've been... I came from Southview all those years I taught over here and there's always a family, family atmosphere oh. at Southview. My dad was principal at Whittier in the 60s yeah. to 69. Yeah. A lot of these guys are probably Happy yeah. Ruiz was at yeah, yeah. Junior High when my dad was principal. Exactly so. right. Exactly right. Yeah. And actually Coach Turner Scott Mark involved in wrestling and got him involved with the Burnett. You're bringing up a lot of names back oh, there, aren't boy. they? Yeah. A lot of stories that can't be told. <laughs> <laughs> Foster the winner, five to one. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Center mat. We got Aaron Neal wrestling for Lorraine. Wrestling with a takedown over Rama from Bay. Aaron in the white uniform, Bay in the blue. Trying to get a tilt in here, and I think Bay's going to take him out of bounds. Aaron got here by last night wrestling three matches, winning one by decision, one by fall, and one by tech. Today, winning both of his matches, both by major decisions. So Aaron's sitting here 5 and 0 oh going into the championship match. He's doing a good job controlling him on top. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think one of the matches we did last night, uh, Quick escape, two to one. I, I think he was. Uh, he only won seven to four, but he was in total control the whole time. Strong so, looking kid. Yeah. Almost a scissors up there. I call the stalemate here pretty soon. 15, 10 seconds left in a period. No, we're looking no, at wrong line. We're looking over 31 here. 31 seconds. Yeah. Nice recovery. Nice, Took nice. Two out of this. And he will come around with this two. There's two. 20 seconds left. It takes a score to four to three. I know he's feeling uncomfortable with that headgear where it's at. Usually in a situation like this when nothing's happened, I always stop him and let him wrestle. Yeah. Because he's worrying more about his uh, headgear. Yeah. I would blame the, you well, know, I don't say that, but that's not the way I would have officiated it. When nothing was happening, I would let him stop, fix it. Absolutely. I hate the kid to have to worry about something like that. Especially coming out of this period, five, four on the short side. Uh, maybe it'll fire him up. See what he does yeah. on bottom here. Should come to his feet. Mm, 
kid threw the legs in there. That might frustrate Aaron. I don't know if he's wrestled how many leg wrestlers before. It's gotten stretched out pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah to potentially dangerous. What do you say then is don't let him get the boot in. Got to block that foot from, yeah. from the start. You know, but leg wrestlers, they have they got fancy ways of getting the boot in. I mean, that's what they work on all day of practice. Yes, they do. And it kills a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I call that a Blair tilt because officials didn't see when he had that arm behind his back. To get him to go over, you kind of pull that hammer lock away from the back. Yeah, we're not real big on those Blair guys around our house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He gave him two for some back points. Technical violation, locking hands. And one point for Aaron. Gave up some back points, came out of it with locking hands. Oh, if Aaron can reverse him here, we got a tie. Give me, give me a new one. All righty. He's got to get it off his stomach in yeah. this situation here. Yeah, because he's letting the kid muscle him once you're You can't once score flat on your stomach. He's fighting. Yeah. That can't be comfortable, this position he's been in. He gave I got two. cheap two points. Yeah, there. I didn't see the two coming. But you know how tilt man is. Yeah. 19 seconds. Would be nice to come out of this one and escape, take it to nine to uh, three, and then see what Absolutely. you can do on and see what you can do on top. Absolutely. Or back on your feet, even. Yeah, one or the other. Yeah, don't go underneath to this kid. He's too high. Yeah, he was a little high there. Shake him off. Third period, nine to five. I've officiated uh, this Bay kid uh, last year, and he's a nice wrestler. I think he won a conference for him last year. He's doing a good job controlling the yeah. action from the top. Needs a break here to get to his yeah, feet. Yeah. Or to make a break to get to his feet. Yeah. It's paramount that you don't go to your belly because this kid's just going to muscle you around your Absolutely. head, you're on your neck, lock you up with his legs. All right, here we go. Yeah. Game changer here. Yeah, it is. Two reversal. Did he give him Stay the backs? Tight. No, didn't give him any backs yet. There's one. And I think that was a one count. Here's another one. Come on, count it. Oh, it coach's dad. I could see those two from up here. I don't know what the referee <laughs> had a problem with. I used that line last year at a tournament. Ah, no. Nah. Two here, reversal. We need another flurry. This ain't right. All right.
they came around on top. 33 seconds to go. So he got that Come great. To his feet, he can shake them. But. Yeah, if you got the grapevine in like that, it's hard to get to your feet. He's awful tough with those legs. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing hurts more than getting stretched like that and getting halved on one side. Hard fought match, 11 to 7. That's nothing to be embarrassed about. Nope. Something to build on. Yeah, exactly. And he's not happy about it, which no. isn't a bad yeah. thing. That's yeah. not bad either. Aaron's a junior. He got the, the whole rest of this season all next year. I expect big things from him, to tell you the truth. All right, Lorraine doesn't have a wrestler here going into 182. So let's take a look at Keystone's Worthington wrestling. Worthington Kilbourne's shot. That's Worthington on the right-hand side, wrestling in green. He has a little purple on his uniform. Shot from Kilbourne has the red anklet. Coach Pycraft from Keystone was a big part of the Burnett success oh, yeah, yeah. with the youth program. and The barn. Built the barn out yeah, there yeah. and yeah. did that all on his own. A great family, him and his wife. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two sons that went uh, real far in wrestling. Absolutely. One state champ out of Elyria. And a daughter that probably knows more wrestling than everyone uh, else. I not with her either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw her over there for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Since she was probably 15 years. And yep. Oh, yeah, I've been talking to her, trying to get her to officiate. Uh, you know, we need... Uh, a women in, or so in a sport like that that knows wrestling as much as she does. We're still looking at the 0-0 zero, zero with a minute to go. And I just got an update on the scores. And remember I said they were real close going in. Well, I'll tell you what, they're still real close. I got Beaver Local in first with 211. Copley in second with 209.5. Bay still in third at 201.5. And Lorraine sitting in fourth place at 106.5. Lorraine's closest uh, opponent is Twinsburg, actually, at 160, a half a point behind. So us Lorraine fans are rooting for Lorraine and rooting against Twinsburg right now. Two for the takedown. I think if uh, Worthington would have let him got out of bounds, it might have been fleeing the mat for one, but he decided to take him down before he got there. Nice job on his feet. Yeah. Getting a little bit high on that ride with three seconds to go, two, one. Uh, Given Worthington, no, given Kilborn the ching, he took uh, the defer and let Worthington take down. Boy, there's a quick reversal to his feet. There he is, telling to get his uh, spectators out of his way because he's going to plan on taking him over there again. Four row, Keystone in the lead.
you know. Here's a situation that's hard on the official. Who's stalling the most? The guy in the bottom or the guy in the top? The guy winning. <laughs> and that's usually the way it's called, the guy winning. My famous line is, you're stalling, but you're, he, he, he's stalling, but you're glad he's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty important in this sport to be good on your feet. Yeah. That's one thing that uh, the whole West Shore wide, Burnett, yeah. it even goes back to the milk of it system, you know, with the inside ties and that. Still see a lot of that, the ones that are successful. But they're always able to get out on yeah. them too. Now the old uh, Pennsylvania concept is you got to be good on the mat too. Well, that's a whole different ball yeah, game yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You wrestle Pennsylvania, you know they're going to, Keep you on a mat, and they're going to rough you up. Yep. It's our bar arms. You see more stalling on bottom there than you yeah, do on top. Yeah, yeah. It's good to be exposed to that, and that's one thing that Ron Burnett, when the kids yeah. were little, the, the traveling that they did, you got exposed to all that kind of yeah. stuff. All those different styles. You got to be, Absolutely. yeah, you got to custom to everything. But the emphasis was on our feet for Ohio. Yeah. It's still yeah. pretty good. Ohio still strong as far as high school wrestling. Now you take a sport like football where you scout your opponent, you know just about everything they're going to do. With wrestling, you know, sometimes you got to pick up what they're going to do as they're doing it. Well, the good ones, the, the thing is, the good ones are more predictable than the ones yeah. that are unorthodox. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah. You got a good guy's more predictable. You yeah. kind of know. Yeah. It's easier to follow what he's doing. I'm not sure you're allowed to do that. Uh, no, that's a stall. Yeah. Got to move up. Yeah, once you hang on the ankle, of course, he was having a hard time. He's getting pushed around. And that took it to beginning of the third period. Keystone's going to take up. Four to one. Yeah. Put him on his feet. Let's go take downs one more time. Control the tie here. Nice new shot on the Keystone kid. Yeah. I think he's just going to hold on there for the stalemate. Absolutely. 126 left. Four yep. one Keystone. Still on their feet. Careful. Yeah, be very careful. Yeah, with a minute to go, that, it got to his feet. Now, now you taking there's the advantage. Down. There's, there's nice the takedown. Bullied them into that takedown. You know, the Keystone program has very, very much come up in the world. They were the only team from Lorraine County last year that made it into the uh, uh, down to Columbus for the dual dual meet tournaments. Oh, Jim Pycraft does yeah, a lot. Very much so. Very much so. And it's a family sport, so the parents are contributing too, and very much a family sport. Yeah. We've got 37 seconds here with a four point lead. Yeah, the stalling came. On Keystone, but I think he can take that, yeah. <laughs> Someone's saying he's riding the hips, but someone's saying there's only seven seconds to go. No one's going to get a call. There's one. Stop the match. No, he called the down wrestler for stalling that time. Can't have your head on the mat. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. While we're changing weight classes, let me ask you a question. Are you employed by or retired from the Lorraine City Schools? If the answer is yes, then play close attention to the following. Hey, wrestling fans, low interest rates got you pinned to the mat. Reverse that hold and counter the competition with a CD from the Lorraine Schools Employees Credit Union. Escape with a higher APY and pin down that CD of your choice. Call the Lorraine Schools Employees Credit Union at 282-4600. Let me give you that again, 282-4600. Hi, I'm Rochelle Lefebvre and this is Johnny. We're working with Best Friends Animal Society to stop the suffering of millions of breeding dogs in puppy mills who supply puppies to pet stores. You can help too, by not adding to the demand for pet store puppies. When searching for your next best friend, do what I did. Adopt. Don't shop. <laughs> Let a shelter dog like Johnny steal your heart. All right, we're going to pick up the action at 195 on the center mat where we have Mustafa from Westlake wrestling Pro Cop from Copley. Mustafa's sitting with a 2-0 lead after with the takedown. Looking like he's getting back points right now, and he's in deep. Got a Coach Percival armbar there. Yeah, he is. You start to see a lot of uh, Jake Percival over there at uh, Westlake, a lot of his style, don't you? Oh, yeah. Jake was amazing. Quiet kid that just never quit. Quiet. I don't think All I've American. ever heard him say the word. No, yeah. well, I have. <laughs> No, Jake's done a great job yeah, over oh there. Yeah, he has. Yeah. And Mike Antonucci waited until he was ready. And yeah. And now it's his program. And Mike was one of the characters of uh, of this area here for when it comes to uh, uh, coaching. Mike was awesome. Mike was real instrumental when uh, the West Shore YMCA. Mike got the whole program over to Westlake High School for mm -hmm. no charge for the kids yeah. at all, yeah. and it was like. We had probably 30 to 40 kids that traveled every weekend to Pennsylvania. And like I said, it got to be a real family yep. thing. You had the Pie Crafts and Dustin Woods and yeah. Burnett's and Tom Six out of Fairview. I mean, it was Stepanovich that went on to play pro football. Yeah, big guys. heavyweight from, Bre uh, from Berea. Berea, yep. And yeah. his brother Nick that wrestled at Ohio State. It's, you look at the college wrestlers that came out of there. Yeah. It's a pretty amazing program that Ron Burnett pretty much. And the tap before the pin. Yeah. Yeah, you bring about a lot of names oh, that you get to network God. with, yeah. Yeah. That's why they always talk about Northeast Ohio wrestling. Yeah. You start hitting programs like that. Well, now Bernie's program, the, the Burnett trained wrestling. Yeah. I mean, yeah. They're ranked one of the top clubs in the country, you know, and it's, you know, Eric's knowledge and yeah. enthusiasm. And it, He's yeah. just done a fantastic job both with the youth program and and with the uh, um, with the Larry High program. It's come a long way, and it's tough with these program yeah. public schools to build a program because it's such a demanding sport. And, you know, football is just getting done, and kids. Yeah. You know, but what a what a great way for a football player to cross train, and you know, you had the Cousinos and those guys like oh, that yeah. that ended up. Well, I, I mean, uh, it doesn't hurt you. They're, they're, you don't have to cut weight to do the sport. No. Yeah. I've coached uh, football, and we always encouraged our football players to uh, wrestle. That's what Lorraine yeah. needs yeah. now. Yeah. Lorraine needs you, you need to get these kids out of yeah. the elementary schools to good yeah. athletes. And yeah. you know, basketball's only got 12 guys. Yeah. You know, wrestling has 15. With you can put three teams together if you want. Yeah. Uh, we we always, at St. Yeah. Ed's, there was five traveling teams. I know that's a different program, but. You can find matches, and you got that many kids involved. You can find matches, and, and, and you know the beauty of something like that is you never know when a kid's going to blossom. Yeah, well, exactly. You know, there's no yeah. limit. Yeah. A lot of kids, a lot of kids develop when they're in college, and they outwork people. But, yeah, I've seen uh, uh, 
football linemen who were pudgy little kids, but they got the wrestling. They lost a lot of that pudginess and became muscle. You put them back on the football field their senior year, and all of a sudden, oh, they're, 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 they're uh, all, all conference. Their yeah. Yep. yeah, they know how to work their feet, work their hips. Well, Mark's got young kids, so yeah. he'll get the youth program going. And they, they got pretty good numbers this year, and they're in a, yeah. a, a youth league, which every Sunday gives you a little bit more. You know, and the problem with Ohio high school, uh, the, the rules for junior high are not. Yeah. Uh, it it, it kind of stymies a kid that's a good kid. It actually encourages you not to be involved in junior high wrestling because you're they, limited to how many matches you they, can they, have. They get 14 points. They get, well, I think they up to the 17 points. They used to get 14 points where a club wrestler could wrestle oh, for, the, for four months. A, yeah. A, a junior high kid could get 100 matches in yeah, a year. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, granted, you got to have a kid that likes it. Yeah. You know, not everybody likes it. It's a very tough sport, but 100 matches in the junior high season in an offseason like that, you're getting four years' experience for a kid. Yeah. Same holds true for summer wrestling. But the value yeah. of summer wrestling is, is, yeah, yeah. is it's unbelievable. I mean, you have kids that come out for wrestling in 6th and 7th grade. And, by, by wrestling in the summer, not only are you wrestling, only the good ones do it in the summer. So yep. your, your level of competition, your level increases. But like I said. And you don't have to cut weight in the summer. You there's wrestle, no reason to cut weight. Whatever, whatever you are, that's what you do. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. That's the misconception about the sport. And anymore, the rules, yeah. the, the rules aren't advantageous to somebody that does cut weight. No. You, know, you got to compete within an hour of weighing in. And, even colleges have made it more that way. Yeah. Colleges are even more brutal. There's no weight allowance after January. There's, there's none of that kind of stuff. So these guys, these guys are very dedicated kids. I agree. There's no better kid than a wrestler. No. I, uh, you know, I've been around this sport for, oh God, coaching for six or seven years and fish dating for 37. I, I yeah. gotta tell you, the ones I knew weren't real good at mowing the yard, though. <laughs> 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 they were really good at wrestling, but they weren't really good at mowing the yard. <laughs> but it was worth doing. And you're speaking from experience, yeah. Very much experience. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been working in the office over there uh, uh, during the afternoon, and I've seen a lot of little grandkids running around there, oh, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And a lot of times they're in the chair. <laughs> so that's a good thing. That's yeah. part of the family thing. Yeah. Like I said, Southview, when I came over here, there was... Always that family, family. with the turnuses, with the front turnuses, that family experience, you know, taking, uh, taking the, uh, uh, all the cereal boxes and everything to the tournaments because they used to get a classroom and cook breakfast and lunch oh, for yeah. the kids and that, yeah. Well, Coach Urbis, one of the best coaches in the country, he can't wait to get here for the hospitality room <laughs> because, of the, because of the cooking here and the, and the mothers and that, the support is fantastic. And that all goes back to Dan Turnus. And yeah. And, and I mean, Dan Turnus' parents. Yeah. Yeah. Great Ma, family Ma, environment. Ma, exactly. Oh, yeah. I asked all the coaches at the CD meetings, do you want me to just do this online rather than coming? They looked at me like, and missed this meal? Are no, you crazy? We're coming to eat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Back here on the championship match, we have for Lorraine Andres Torres, wrestling. Samkoff from Copley. So Copley with the uh, one or two point lead going into the uh, final team score. I'm looking at one of those grandkids on the mat right now, aren't yeah, I? I got to get him out of here. <laughs> Especially when you're around 220s. Uh, let's yeah. start with 103. And then... yeah. yeah. All right. Torres. Got to this point in the tournament by winning by fall his first match today and by decision his second match. So he's four and one in the tournament going into the championship round.
I think Torres is a newcomer to the program. I don't think he was here last year, was he? I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. A lot of 10th graders. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you hope the seniors get somewhere uh, uh, Columbus-wise this year. Watch oh. out, watch out, into the chairs. Whoa. Here we go. much to say about this match so far. They've been no, on their feet for a minute. I think this is yeah. the way that Torres can sneak in here, yeah. too. Is yeah. Keep the scoring low. Yeah. I'm looking at the Copley boy. I kind of had a feeling he was going to shoot just the way he reached down for that knee two or three different times. Kind of setting that knee tap up. Spending a lot of energy and no points. Well, you talk about uh, this weight class, the 220s, the heavyweights, so why don't they shoot? Well, I don't think they want to go up underneath someone that's that much bigger. Absolutely. You look at guys like Tommy Rollins, though, and how oh, successful no. they can be. Well, he they, was they started out 120-pounder yeah. 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 and wrestled college heavyweight and national champ. And they learned all their skills as they worked their way up the heavyweight. They took a beating on yeah. the way up there. Just yeah. But they learn how to wrestle like a light guy and, and, and not be yeah. laying around the muscle and being offensive. And yeah. You got to score points to win. Yeah, when anyone talks about heavyweight and shooting, they always bring up Roland's name. Yeah. Oh, what a nice kid, yeah. too. Honor, honor student and just a yeah. fine guy. He's yeah. got little kids now, but I think he's got daughters, so. Yeah. We're safe up here. <laughs> Second period coming. You got Torres on the bottom. See if he can get out. Nice stand up. Didn't quite get a turn in. Didn't quite. Nice effort he, to his feet. But One if he, more of those, yeah. he'll be out. If you can get to your feet, that's the name in this game. Of course, Copley changed your strategy and went across that back ankle. You got to pin nice that. Nice job there. by Torres standing up. Very nice. Whizzer out of that. You gotta, I just want to say, you got to throw that whizzer in. You got to work. The head doesn't get you anywhere. You got to throw that whizzer in to get that arm. Yeah, but that's three times now he's been to his feet on, the, on this other yeah. athlete. So that's what's going to get you your one. One thing about these young guys, they're wrestling hard. And that's yeah, nice to yeah see. exactly. I don't know what grade this Torres is in, but I think he might be a 10th grader. 10th grader. Yeah. We got all 10th graders. Like yeah. I said, there's only one senior we saw so far and two juniors, so. Yeah. The future's bright. Get the numbers up and get a little more competition in the room. And competition in the room keeps everybody honest and everybody on yeah. at their best. Yeah. yeah. And the good programs, they always got a couple guys battling for a position, you know? Well, you have to. Absolutely. Yeah, you have to. Whenever you see an all-state wrestler, you always see some very good wrestlers on both sides of him. That guy behind him isn't every, all that bad either. Every single day. They There's only so him. much you can take. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's the hardest matches, too, is a guy you wrestle every day in the room. Yeah. Some of the he knows best. everything you're going to do. Yep. You know, in our time, my time being involved in St. Ads, even... Even for the rest loss, the competition was so close, they bring referees in the yeah, ref yeah, to yeah, keep the... Yeah. Keep the... Yeah. It's a good call. The kid hasn't yeah. been doing much on yeah. top to do anything. Mr. Torres is doing a good job coming to his feet. So that's the first uh, point for Stalling. Yes. 
with well, one Torres minute has left come to his there. feet three yeah, or four yeah, times yeah. so far, yeah. and uh, it's a nice effort there. He, and he got to keep doing that. He's coming up again. He keeps doing this. He's going to get another stalling call. Yeah, because Copley went straight back to riding his hips. Torres is giving a good effort here. Nita. Come up again. That's another stalling point. Turn around, get your point. That's a good job there. Nice one. A two point lead with 35 yeah, seconds yeah. left in this period. No. I think what you that's don't want to be yeah. choice. What you don't want to do is give a takedown up a here. Takedown here. Absolutely. You don't want to do anything foolish. He's staying in pretty good position. Yeah. Controlling the guy's head, staying inside. 15 seconds left. Stay tough here. Ah. No, stay in. No, no. Yeah. Two point. Excellent. Three seconds left. Yeah. Still got a yeah. two point lead. Excellent call. That's a good call. Yeah. The official had his eye, in, and there was control, but the one foot went out of bounds. An inch or two out of bounds is out of bounds. Should have done that three minutes ago. Yeah. Two point lead going in third period. Yeah. Copley's choice. Torres can ride him tough here. For a while. Give up one. Yeah, yeah. I can hear the coach yelling right now. Give him one, but not two. Give him one, but not two. Out of bounds. All right, we can still escape. He stood up three times. He got yeah, the stalling yeah. calls on going against the other guy. So he keeps coming to his feet. We might get another stall call. Time match. Yep. Time match 2 2. Still got. A, we put him onto his feet. 3 2 Torres. Minute 50 left in the third period. Stay in good position here. Torres wrestling tough. Just stay in good position. Keep your hips back. Nothing there either. Back to the center. Got him frustrated. <coughs> yeah. Two points. Oh. Nice shot. I can hear the crowd yelling. I can't hear myself thinking. All right. I think it's Copley down below us. It's got to be. Yeah. <laughs> God. Copley's not doing anything to score here, so. See, Copley got real frustrated when they took that shot. If he would have spun around him then, it might have been the match. Keeps his head in good position here. Yeah, yeah. We got the stalling in our favor, so. We need to circle back in here. Yeah. Well, that's a stall. I mean, a you, stall knew, you knew it was coming. Yeah. You knew it had to come. Circle back in. Yeah. We need a scramble here. Copley's doing nothing though either. Now, see, in a case like it, sometimes I call a double stall on that. But pushing's not wrestling. Yeah. Got to score to win. He's not doing much to help himself. Tara's going to give up. He doesn't be careful here. He's going to yeah. give up another warning. He now needs you a shot. No, the Wizards in there. There's no points. Yeah. 18 seconds left. Got to get inside control here and hand fight. Come on. This one got everybody going. Yeah, it does. Stay in position. Keep hand fighting, keep hand fighting, keep hand fighting. Good position. Don't give it up. No. Six seconds. That's good. That's it. Right. You're never going to Three. One. Time. Yeah. Yeah. And Taurus, I didn't have anything to say. And, uh, everything says it all.
They've stormed beaches and freed countries. They've raised our flag and our hope. They've been called Leathernecks. They've been called Devil Gods. But above all, they're called Marines. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Last match of the evening, Lorraine Sante Santana wrestling on the third place match. Wrestling Bernard from Bay. Nasadi is, he won both of his, two of his matches today and lost a very, 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 very close one, four to one to the, the Buckeye local wrestlers wrestling on the championship mat right now. Saudi with his four wins in this tournament so far, looking for his fifth. Saudi in the white uniform, Bay in the blue. Stadi's the soccer at 15 seconds. There hasn't been any action here, but it's a heavyweight match. On her feet, they're filling each other out a little bit. Three seconds. Second period coming. Santana wins the, uh, wins the flip. He elects to go down second period. Be a good tournament if he finishes this match off strong here. Yeah, 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 it would be. Need to get to his feet. The only person he lost to was uh, this kid out here from uh, local, yeah. Now, you can't, can't let that ball, him. you can't get to the bar arm and turned him. Fighting, but he's in very good. Nice. Turned out of that. He gave up. He gave up three, but he got, came up <clears throat> on his feet for the escape. But now you're. Wrestling from behind here. You got to do a little bit more. Or you're walking him out. <laughs> Five seconds yep. left in this period. There's been a lot Three of one uh, by two. We need to take that. You need there. something. You gotta you gotta be a little bit more aggressive here on his feet here. Now this whole match, Santana has been the stalker, but there hasn't been a stall call yet. He's definitely the only one moving forward. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what, that's what I always look for. Always look for. He's the aggressor. It'd be nice to get a stall call in the second period. Yeah, and they didn't get it. All right. So we need two points here. Now Bay's going to take up and put Santana down again. Should be three to two then. Come to his feet. I got, yeah, I got Santana getting out, make it three or two. We need a takedown for the win. Always comes down to a takedown. <laughs> it's a caution. 
The top guy? Yeah, I think what he did, he, he got down on him without, you know, you got to keep your weight off of him, especially heavyweights. Right. It's a little unsportsmanlike. Saudi got to get to his feet. You can't hang around on your knees. That's that same move he did. He got, yeah. you know, put that arm up over his head and turned him with his arm. Got to get up to his feet. Well, the young guys from Lorraine got nothing to be ashamed no, of. They, no. they wrestled hard. Now Santana, another sophomore on the line. Yeah. Yeah, with a couple of key injuries to guys that are normal starters. It's, yeah. It's, it's, they put the tournament in it's a It's an cold uphill week. battle yeah. for yeah, these yeah, guys, but yeah. they, they fought hard. And to compete and fight like that is, you never know what the end result's going to be as long as you're competing. Well, with 36 seconds to go, we need some action in this match. You know, you got that base ride in that. Not a whole lot of action here. No. to generate something to score two points. And Yeah, they'll learn and they'll get stronger as the season yeah. comes. One second, and there's the tap. <laughs> Santana still placer, placing fourth for Lorraine. So that puts three, uh, two fourths, two fourths. So we had two first, two seconds, and two fourths. They keep working, you only yeah. see them getting better from yeah. here. I agree with you. I, I agree with you for sure. Well, nice seeing you, Mr. Bauer. Michael, my Chris, friend. We'll have uh, the same uh, conversation maybe next week. We go to uh, Sandusky. I think uh, we're going to take the uh, Channel 20 cameras to Sandusky to do the dual meet there. We did it last year here, this year at Sandusky. So that's maybe coming we'll up see next. You up there. We'll see you there. Stop on by and for say a Lorraine win. For uh, a Lorraine oh, yeah. win. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. Well, thanks a lot and have uh, a ha happy new year. You too. All right. And tell the boys to say hello. I will. And keep up the <laughs> keep your chin up. All right, thanks. When I was a young kid in the outback, what started me on a path I've taken was the respect and love I feel for these and all animals. So I had to tell you about an organization I believe in, one that makes a difference in the lives of animals all over the world the Morris Animal Foundation. Visit morrisanimalfoundation.org to support animal health and welfare worldwide. Your gift today, mate, will give animals a healthier tomorrow. I think you can see the buzzing around me because I'm sitting amongst here all these uh, Buckeye local fans who won the tournament. Beaver local fans, I'm sorry, Beaver local fans who just won this tournament. So that's why you, you got some excitement up here. But this is Tom Bauer. Bob the cameraman, and we're saying uh, goodbye. Catch us again in a week when we go to Sandusky to wrestle the Lorraine Titans versus Sandusky Blue Streaks. A nice tournament. Lorraine came away with uh, about six placers in the top four, and then a lot of kids are all underclassmen, and we'll be back. So, so long, Channel 20. This has been a production of Lorraine City Schools, TV 20, WLCS. To purchase a high-quality copy of the program you just viewed, please call Lorraine City Schools Television at 282-8400.